What's going on everyone and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So this one is it's just an opening event. I mean, it's just something I wanted to do. Um, I was gone for about two weeks. I was out uh, kind of taking a vacation. So sorry for not uploading anything over time. But when I got back, I really wanted to do something cool. And with the Chaos, Chaos Theory event coming out, I really wanted to get everything in that and uh, do a bunch of other stuff. So this one's just the opening and it's it's a lot man. there's a <laughs> that's 124 packs uh the 24 from the event and then 100 uh i kind of saved up a few but then i bought a lot more so and it's crazy because now my loadouts and everything it's almost all full i almost have everything it's just some legendaries and some epics at this point but um it's exciting. I really wanted to get everything. I really wanted to just kind of have it all in the first place. So I'm getting close. I'm getting close, man, guys. So, but yeah, thank you all for being here. Um, and I guess let's just go ahead and kind of start jumping into the video. Um, and as always, everybody, if you do like this, it would be awesome if you would like. And if you're not subscribed, I probably will do more of these. So if you subscribe, you will see them. And uh, we all like to get our little thirst on when it comes to pack opening and stuff. So, I mean, if you don't want to do it, at least you can watch it, right? But, um, yeah, I guess let's just go ahead and uh, jump into this now. Alright, the Chaos Theory event and plus packs. Let's, uh, let's see. I still gotta buy them right now, but... There it is, Chaos Theory Collection events. First time being on Apex since I was on vacation. And I've been stoked. I've seen a few videos on this and I really was excited to jump into it myself. So, yeah. I mean, what do y'all think of the event so far? I mean, do you guys, you guys like it? Do you guys think it's kind of all over the place? Because some of the skins very interesting like they kind of like jump from one era to the next i mean you got like a roman attire on bang no bangalore and then you got like mongolian attire on uh what's his face anyway yeah i got the packs i had to clip over that and everything because i didn't want you guys to um have to watch me do all that mumbo jumbo but it's gonna be a good time um let me know what you guys got for like events uh in the events like you guys get any like really cool um drops i guess drops whatever you want to call them okay first pack Eh. I don't know about that Sentinel. I'm going to run that Sentinel skin, but we'll see. Yeah, that's like the... What era is that? I forget. From the front, it looks like he's got hair, no lie. <laughs> That's like a weird samurai type deal. Not gonna run that. That Mastiff skin. I still got the Mastiff skin from like whatever event it was, it's the golden one. I'm never gonna change it, it's too good. Probably not going to run that. That's probably the coolest skin for Crypto. So far, I don't know. Maybe I missed one that's better. Ow. 
I actually like the skin for Revenant. Um, I feel like it goes off a of other game though. Like, oh, it looks so similar to something else, like God of War or something. I don't know. I love this skin, but I bet it makes her a big open target. Like, <laughs> I can just imagine being in a tunnel and she just glowing. Man. Yeah, this one. This one's like the the Roman Empire. So you got like Mongolian era, the the Roman Empire era. I kind of like they just took it from like different ones and put them all in the same event. I don't know. This one's all over the place to me. This skin, this skin I feel like they kind of copied some ideas from Horizon Zero Dawn. It just has that same look. Someone tell me I'm not wrong, please. Won't run it. I hate the, the bone skins on any weapon. Wild West. Of course, man. I don't know why they put weapon charms in these events. I mean, yeah, banner pose is cool. And a weapon charm. Meh. That's not a bad Gibraltar skin. Some samurai era. Did they? Uh, was it the last event had a lot of samurai stuff too? I feel like they love old samurai type armor maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm thinking of something else oh does it matter i feel like this skydive is like eh, meh but maybe it, it, I guess it fits him. He's very laid back. I'll rock that 301 skin for a little bit. See if it's any good. I wish they would do um, more like special sites, honestly. Finally, another Octane Skydive emote. I've had one forever. This is it. Heirlooms. I think this makes my fifth. No, fourth. It's my fourth. I know. Some people have them all, but I just... Nah. I guess I jumped on the gravy train too late when it came to actually trying to get heirlooms. But it's cool. I mean, Bangalore's heirloom, I guess it fits her. Fits her old style. And I love that skin. I don't think I'm going to change anything about this setup with her. Like, it just looks too badass. Yeah. 
I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think of this. I mean, anything should have changed. You think they kind of like cheaped out a little bit. I mean, those are all the packs from the event, the Chaos Theory event. So, yeah. But, of course, it doesn't stop there. We got some more. And this is where it gets interesting. Kind of. I mean, how have you guys been doing in this event? I mean, the, uh, just since the new update, do you guys like the... The, whatever they're called, the rings, the storm rings. You guys like the the way they're advancing this season? I mean, with the whole uh, ring blockers, so you can stay outside the storm. Do you like the, I guess, storm rings to where you can take damage if you're in it? I mean, what y'all think? I like the... Me, personally, I like the storm blockers. I think that gives you... A little bit of a chance to recover because some people love the storm hold but the storm rings I'm not saying it's a bad idea but I don't know if it was the thing we needed in this game I mean there's a few other things that still need to be like fixed I mean so I don't know but it's a change it's something to go with it's something to get used to it's something how to like change your tactics and it keeps you on your toes i guess so that's always good i mean i i don't like to get too comfortable but i guess this makes it to where you can't really like camp either because i mean that could go anywhere it could cut you off your camping point so i mean maybe it is good because you got teams that love to like hold up My thing is though, you can hold up for a really long time. So I don't I don't even know if it'll really matter, because like if everybody on your team can have two. Uh, I think it's two in your inventory. Then that means you can you know, have six. So you could really hold up a spot for what, they last for fifteen seconds, I think. Something like that. Maybe thirty? Twenty? Thirty? So I don't know. I mean that's still way over a minute. That's it's enough time for you to like handle your business, heal up or do whatever. Run. Oh, give me gold. Give me something good. I'm sad inside. Yeah, and I didn't know this either, but the Mozambique, uh, that terminology is actually a real life thing. I, I believe it comes from the Marine Corps to where Mozambique is two in the chest, one in the head. So the way it's set up is actually pretty cool because they kept the terminology right, I guess. I mean, the gun kind of sucks, but it's good. Unless you got hammer points, then that's cool. But, uh, so, I like to, like, use my crafting materials as I go, so I'm going to do this real quick, and I'm going to cut this out. Alright. Uh, that won't use it ever. I like how I still get a lot of crafting materials. I mean, I don't have too much to unlock when it comes to lower tier stuff, like commons and rares, I guess. So I get more common and rare crafting materials due to that. But I wish it would give me a better chance at legendaries or epics. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
after this one I'm gonna go back in and use up a little bit more I'll be back all right come on oh, I really wish they get more legendaries man I feel like what was that like 40 packs almost like maybe got like one but they still go by the chance basis so even if you get everything low tier unlocked it's gonna start giving you crafting material like this like that the chances I think they know I bought a hundred. It's like, wow, this guy has so many Apex packs. Let's just give him shit. Not really. Hey, Revenant Hollow Spray. I've been seeing people use that to break line of sights too. You put them in front of doorways and like you hide in a corner. People might not see you. Immediately. All right, doing it one more time. I might actually do it one more time out of this, or two more times. We'll see. Come on, baby. Makes me sad. Oh. Mm. Needs more finishers. Like I swear, those are the hardest things to get. So do you guys feel like this game is still worth spending money on? I mean, with skins and all that? And if so, if the answer is yes, or even no, I mean, what, how much money have you guys spent on this game? What do you want to say? Because me? <laughs> oh, with the events, that's where they get you. It's like $140. That's like roughly like $140 per event if you play each one, like buy everything, of course. Some people only like go until like they get the skin they want or just buy like seven packs and call it there. Oh, and you guys also like the Watson passive now with the shield reboot uh, boost recharge. Like Octane's health recharge, but it's the shield instead. What do you guys think about that? Alright, after this one, I think I'm gonna go back in and clear out some stuff. All right, let's do it. Who would have thunk I would get three crafting materials? Not me. I'll probably not use that.
another thing with the update. What do you guys think about the changeable sights on epic weapons now? Not epic, but uh, drop weapons or golden weapons. Do you think that was a good idea? I like that personally because legit like gold longbows. Uh, I mean, any gold sniper really had like the four by eight or like the four by ten, and nobody runs those. It's trash. Or did they get rid of the four by ten? I don't see the thermal anymore. I feel like that's not even a ground drop. I think they might have got rid of it. Anyway, thought being said, what do you guys think of it? Do you think it was cool? Because I definitely appreciate that change. Besides the Kraber, of course you can't change the Kraber site. Because that would be retarded. It would be very bad because then you'd have people running around with a bruiser or a ranger. And just dominating close range probably get like way better trick shots down too so i'm glad they didn't allow that that was a good choice on their part i don't feel i don't care if somebody complains that that's bs that they didn't allow that i totally agree with it that is a good choice to not allow sights on that weapon besides the scope that's on there already Revenant getting some love. I can dig it. Yeah, I had to clip that out one more time. And it's nice to almost be done with all of the items and everything. But at the same time, it's kind of like... I don't know if I want to buy any more packs after this. Or get like I mean yeah actually buy if I'm giving packs cool but buying I don't know if I will because I mean you're gonna get just basically crafting materials and the chances of getting something good are gonna be super low but then of course I can use all those crafting materials to buy things I actually want at this point I don't know I guess it depends on who you are and what you want to do I probably won't buy anything and I'll just wait for the next event the next character and then I'll just buy all the event skins uh, event packs and then just hopefully almost max on everything we'll see Disappoint me. Guys, I'm not having a fantastic time right now. I might take that back. I'm not taking that back. It's like all Revenant Hollow Sprays. That's like the best thing I've got. Well, 
Last one. Jesus. <clears throat> Bet it's nothing good. Yep. Well, all right. That is 100 Apex packs and 24 event packs to max it out and get the Bangalore heirloom special quip and uh, banner piece. So, yeah. Everyone, thank you everybody for being here for this, for watching almost 30 minutes of opening packs and talking. I hope you are having a wonderful day or even better, a fantastic day. And I hope that you will consider dropping a like for it and consider subscribing for more videos in the future. And with that being said, everybody, I hope you have, again, a fantastic day. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.